virus blocker. Because Windows thinks that Dragon Age is a virus. Fun! Good morning, Amaya. How's your vacation? Hey, Bungie. So, I found out something. And I found out something very sad. We cannot romance Cassandra anymore. Because we had a dialogue with her about us being in a relationship with Iron Bull earlier. Which apparently removes the ability to have her as a partner. And considering that Josephine is not putting out, I think we're going to just have to go to D Dorian. Yes, yes, I know. It's a sad day. But we will get through it, kids. We will find a way. I was really excited to see your baps, but, you know. Apparently she has some rockin' baps. Uh, thank you for the indulgence. I have outfitted Sutherland, a small crew of equipment more appropriate agents of the Inquisition, given their humble origins. It's out below. There's in like okay. I will admit when your ambassador approached me with the clan zero, so I was going to commence. Indeed, I didn't I the imprisoned and will be able to look up for further cultists. Navarro is most grateful. Awesome. Pleasure meeting with your representatives. We are happy to lend Inquisition report. Okay. Are we done with quests? It's resources. Resources, resources. Resources, 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 resources. I think we did all of them. I think we're good. Truth or dare, see and be seen. What? Josephine. At your service. <clears throat> Resources. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rethorth it. Rethorth it. Wait. Oh, we already did it. Rethorth it. Rethorth it. They're all completed. Alright. Guess what we're doing? Onyx. So at this point, we can just send them on out to get stuff. Ooh, we can have them get rash vine. Yeah, go get rash vine, dude. What is this? Bloodstone and Dawnstone, sure. To work? So, we're gonna break up with Josephine, and we're gonna just go head on to Dorian. Next stop on the dick list. It's good to see you. Let's talk about us. We need to end things. Josephine, I think we've grown too close. Too close? Are you saying you wish to end our, our relationship? I don't won't feel pretend to feelings I don't have. I wish we discussed this earlier. I honestly thought you... This is quite ridiculous. If that's your wish, we shall part ways. Do excuse me. I must gather my thoughts. Aww. Maybe you should have put out. Maybe I'm not in the mood for a, uh... A woman who does not satisfy me. Maybe like Dorian will. Watch us actually end up just not having anybody. <laughs> we should talk. I'd like to talk to you about something. <laughs> I see. Why 
What's the latest news on the US front, then? I was hoping to get to know you better. <laughs> you and I. People will talk. Let them. All right. We'll see how this goes. Don't say I didn't warn you. Aw, shit. Always a sight for sore eyes. I need to talk to you. you could at least bring me wine. Loosens the tongue, so to speak. Oh, shit. I came for a kiss. I was hoping to steal a moment alone with you. <laughs> I need to talk to you, he says. Have it your way. But let's go where a hundred onlookers won't think I'm stealing the Inquisitor's soul. What? Always a sight for sore eyes. I need to talk to you. About how much you adore me, I assume. I hear that so often. We just we just started things up. Let's do something interesting. More interesting than wandering the countryside killing random strangers. Perish them. Come, we'll wander the grounds and I'll bore you with ribald tales of Tevinter intrigue. What? Did, did it just skip? Dorian, honey, that's, uh, is he just bending over? I, um, okay, a lot of people are watching though, dude. This is, I don't think this is a good idea, Dorian. He's just acting like he's doing work on the table. He's like, yes, there's a splinter here. Interesting splinter. I do think the splinter is very is interesting. Like it's bugged. I need to talk to you about how much you adore me, I assume. I hear that so often. On second thought, I've changed my mind. One of those days, is it? Uh huh. Oh, Dorian. Oh my God! There's just so many quests that we have to do. Uh. Have we ever been to the hissing waste? The kiss option is supposed to have a cutscene after. Uh oh. We hoed it up too much, guys. Any luck charting the area? I did what I could, Your Worship. This space has nothing but... space. If there's nothing valuable here, I say let Corypheus have it. Corypheus wouldn't send out his followers unless it was worth it. I did find something for you. Old dwarven ruins, on the surface. Impossible, but there you go. Hey, the Red Templars are digging them out, with Venatori supervision. Whatever they want, we must beat them to it. I just saw Red Templars heading northwest to here. They might be a good start. I found this map on a dead one. Maybe it shows where they're headed. Good luck. That was convenient. Alright. We have a lot of quests to do and a lot of different places to do them. About Frostback Basin. I just want her to talk to me. up, you'll gain off. You okay, girl? Yeah. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, 
we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. What? Excuse me? The texts say that Inquisitor Emeridan was a dragon hunter who vanished on his last expedition. Yes, precisely. I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chantry. Inquisitor Emeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars... I'm so tired, it's so hot outside, right? I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. Scout Harding. You had me at equipment. Thought you might like that. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Emeridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. I thought we could catch up. What's on your mind? Have you spoken to Kenrick much? A bit. He's quite nice, isn't he? And clever, really loves his books. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. <laughs> he can't stop doing it now. <laughs> it's too funny. They say you grew up in a village. Where did you learn how to fight? Draw a bow, all that. Here and there. You pick things up as a little dwarf girl in a village filled with piggish Ferelden boys. I'm no artist with a blade. I just know what hurts. And what takes him down quick. Bruised a shin or two in my day, and a few, you know, other things. <laughs> and archery? Oh, there was a traveling hunter who set me up with my first bow and taught me the basics. After that, I practiced on my own. <laughs> on squirrels, mostly. Oh, and Heinrich from next door, but only with padded arrows. Jesus. What do you think about the Avar? When I was a little girl, a lady in our village used to tell me Avar tales. Being able to see their lives up close? It's nothing like I thought. They're very tall, aren't they? I was considering a proposal for Commander Cullen. Avar allies with dwarven archers astride their shoulders. Oh, I like the way she thinks. We should keep her around. For mayhem. Yes, mayhem. All right, get it out of your system. Funny how a word loses its meaning when you say it enough times. Oh my god. <laughs> how do you like the frostback base? It's lovely, isn't it? At least until you step in a pile of bogfish or poo. The stuff's vile. It makes great fuel for starting fires, though. If you can tolerate the smell. Ugh. I might suggest that to the commander. It could be great for sieges. That's a brilliant idea. I'll endorse it. Wonderful. I'll write it up as soon as I get back to Skyhold. Jesus. I hear you have family in Ferelden. Yes, my mother and father. I insisted they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Ambassador Montelier tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they proud of me. But after Haven, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. It's just, I just want them to be safe. And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. Aww. What are your thoughts about our progress against Corypheus? Progress? We'll make some progress soon, won't we? Right now it feels like he's won already. No, I shouldn't say such things. Evil can't win in the end. I have to believe it can't. Otherwise I'd just start crying and never stop. Jesus. We'll continue this another time. <clears throat> Is this the first camp we were supposed to go to? Kind of makes me wonder. No, it's not. Okay, good.
think there's only one left. It's this one, right? Oh no, Crestwood we didn't do yet. She practiced on squirrels? Oh yeah. Dude, it's so fucking hot in here. My energy is gone. I have to. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. We've got trouble ahead. I'm sure it's nothing the Inquisition can't handle. Careful, Your Worship. That optimism might be catching. <laughs> Are things that bad? The fuck? Oh. Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. Have any undead attacked the camp? We've had a few shamblers, but most head toward the village below. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows that won't help. Good luck. And please be safe. Jesus. That's rough. Alright, let's work on this. Uh, where do we have to go first? We have to go here. Oh, there's a logging stand! Alright. Let's hit the logging stand and we can kill that rift while we're here. Are you talking to the dwarf, Onibi, or are you talking to me? Is that a new slang, people calling each other sis? I am not hip with the times. Is that a thing that just started? Because I remember when people were like, oh my god, deleted. This is... I, I got attacked so hard in that dungeon, I just got deleted. And I was like, what the fuck is this? What are these slangs? Dwarf, you old man? Okay, good. You better. I ain't your sister. We didn't grow up together. I didn't borrow your clothes and then never give them back. I'm gonna need to put it. So, I have a problem here. And Dilly doesn't understand it because over on his side it doesn't get nearly as cold. But the air conditioner blows directly on me, and I think that's what my issue is. So, I get cold instantly from this air conditioner. But the second you turn it off, it's sweltering. So, I have just I have begun putting on a hoodie so that the room can get cooler. <laughs> I hate it when I get directly blown on. Yeah, it's really rough. Oh, Onibi, I just got it. No, it's really rough because I really want the air conditioner on. And it's not even on that high, it's on the lowest setting. But it's the fact that it's just blowing directly on me. Where the fuck am I going? 
Oh. Oh, it's up there. I see it. Put coconut oil on my legs, and now I can't cross them because they're too slippery. But I can honestly say I've never applied coconut oil before in my life. Is it really that slippery? I've used cocoa butter, but I don't think that's the same thing. Stay hydrated, kids. Maybe you should. Maybe I should. I can't put really lotion on my legs, though, because it, like, I have, you know, hair on my legs. <laughs> and it gets all under the hair, and it looks really gross. Even when you rub it in, it just feels nasty. Nasty. That being said, I I have dry spots on my skin and I really should take care of that before it gets bad. It's smooth. Ew, shave it? I would never shave my legs. I would never shave my legs, ever. I hate the way that feels. I'm so lucky, like, I'm not expected to. Um, bitch with naturally smooth skin without doing jack shit, so you know. Oh, that's awesome. Rude. Oh my god, these despair demons are awful. started in high school when I ran track. When you're running track, I could understand that. I knew the swim team used to shave their bodies. <laughs> my friends would caress my skin like, why please? What the fuck? That's really awkward. I would never... Oh my god. It's too much work and you can get away with not shaving your legs. Do it. Yeah... Yeah, dudes can typically get away with it a lot easier than women can. But that being said, I have to definitely- I have to, uh, work on my beard a lot more often. Otherwise it'll look like a freaking psychopath. Jesus, these are everywhere, dude. Yeah, I don't typically shave anywhere but my face. I, I, Billy doesn't either. I'm very used to people having no concept of personal space. Kids tend to be fascinated by my hair, really. And my school didn't have a swim team, so that might be a good thing. And for me, it might be a good thing. Yeah, I, um, our swim team in high school was fairly, like, high on the totem pole, too. They won a lot of rewards. Um, obviously, I was not on the swim team. But, uh, no, it, yeah, the, the pool that they had was really nice.
But they go through a lot in order to train their bodies in order to swim like that. I could never. I could never. I'm just so fucking... No. I don't have that kind of endurance or just trust in myself. I have ringlet curls, so that it's like the highest rate of enjoyment of tugging it and watching it pop back into place. Oh my god. I'd start smacking bitches. Oh my god, I can relate. People want to do that to me too. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Why are people freaks? Keep going this way. Ah, your worship. Just watching out for local wildlife. Little glory, but it has to be done. It's just one bear that's become a problem. A huge one. Bigger than I've ever seen. It's rampaged through camp a few times, ripping apart our supplies. Oh. One of our work broke his leg trying to get away. Next time. <sighs> Okay, so I'll take down a bear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inquisitor, I have something for you. What is it? Good for a few things. Dalish tomes. Dude, I want cookies so bad. Who just said cookies? Why, Onibi, why'd you say the word cookies? Oh, I want, you know what I want? Those chocolate chip cookies, the really tiny ones, with the very, very little chocolate chips. That would be fantastic. That would just, oh my god. Oh, I want it so bad. I can only think about them. Would it make you feel better if I said I could make the best chocolate chip cookies? It does make me feel a little bit better, but now I just want them. America, where you constantly want to put things in your face, regardless of if it's actually good for you. I ate a salad yesterday. That was that was interesting. But um, it definitely had chicken in it, like fried chicken in it. So I don't know how healthy that actually was. <laughs> okay, this is the boy. What cookies did I do? Oh, I want cookies with ice cream. I used to be on it, so I'm like, whatever this point in life, unless my mom. Then I smack her hands, of course, because it makes me pooey. Aww. Blasted the way. He got what he deserved. What? Blasted to win. He got what he deserved. Is disrespecting us. Oh my god, where is this? I hear you. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Alright. What is up here? He's down here. Ah, Dorian, really? 
Really, honey? Fucking love salad. I don't need dressing, just tomatoes and Gucci. <laughs> Yo, can over you sure we're not the same pe person? I... Dilly covers his salad and dressing. I cannot do that. That's nasty. He was like... Th so, they gave me the salad, and it had, like, stuff on it. It had, like, um... It had, like, a little bit of shredded cheese. It had the fried chicken. And it had tomatoes and cucumbers. And Dilly's like, okay. And they give me this huge saucer of dressing to put on it. And I'm like, excuse me? Dilly's like, oh yeah, you might need more than that. I'm like, what are you talking about? This is insane amounts of dressing. And I was good with like two spoonfuls. And even then I was like, this is kind of swimming. And he's like, oh no, you need more than that. I'm like, no, you don't. That's disgusting. Dude, it was a creamy dressing too. And I'm like, huh, no. This is why we get heart attacks. He's like, but there's no flavor unless you do that. I'm like, okay, um, no, there's plenty of flavor. Your mouth doesn't need to be numb with dressing in order to experience flavor. Oh, Dilly. Yeah, he puts way too much dressing on salad. I, uh And then he was like, well, maybe it's because there was more romaine lettuce in yours. I'm like, no, honey. He's like, I usually have iceberg. I'm like, no, iceberg lettuce is yummy. It's literally the taste of nothing. Iceberg is the only good lettuce. I I like a lot of different kinds of lettuce. That's never been a thing for me. I just I I can't stand a ton of dressing. I am a very big fan of blander food though. Dilly Dilly likes like very rich foods. And I I could never I just can't. Dressing it just has dressing topped with salad. Yeah, I I'm a very big fan of blander foods. Dilly likes the spices. Well, sure, right? Then you support the Templars and their treatment of the circles, or that? That's not Andraste. That's Chantry. Then you don't support the Chantry. Of course I do. All right. So you support the Chantry except for the things that it does and this make sense to you is it supposed to believe in it i love you sarah well that's the thing dilly likes he likes spicing all of his food and doing all this different shit to it and um i i've never been i've just never done that before i've never been one to enjoy that so it's very, it's different trying to find um, a commonality between things that he'll like and I will like, if that makes any fucking sense. The difference is I think I'm a lot less picky with my food than he is. Better get freaking bear claw. Damn it. Uh, dressing is supposed to be a dressing, not a soup. Yeah, yeah. He definitely puts more dress. He likes having the each piece of lettuce 
like covered in dressing and I'm like I like having the taste of dressing with every bite with every big bite I like having a taste so like one of the fucking leaves have something on it rather than <laughs> all of them have something on it hmm Noma, thank you for the six bits. Happy Pride Month, and number I'm number one now. Jesus Christ! Oh, that's right. The uh, the bits reset. I have to change the uh, sub goal. Shit! 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 And I have to reset the heist. Oh God! I forgot to do that last night. <sighs> Fuck! Give me a sec. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, Alright. Nobody subscribed today, right? I don't think so. Uh, no. Okay, we're good. I start my new job tomorrow. Guys, what the fuck? I'm so nervous. Carl used 205 bits. God damn it, Carl. Carl's like, I will not. I will not. I think that might be the last heist before the boosted things get taken away for the week. Is it because of a new job? Yep, I start my new job tomorrow. Which means no more day streams. At least during the weekday. I still always do the morning ones. Good luck with your new job. Thank you. You're AFK and watching ads to get more bits. Aw, thank you. We appreciate it when you do that. You don't have to do that. I know some of those are really rough. But either way, we appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, did I do this one? Thank you, Nomo. Thank you for the biddies. I did not do this one. Oh, no. I... I don't... I don't even know where to start.
This is so hard. They've definitely gotten harder. I mean, I did complain about them not being hard in the beginning, so, I mean, this is, this is kind of my, this is my fault. The game hurt me. No, my thank you for the two more biddies. What is this? I thought for sure that would be something. Fubo let me win. Oh, yo, Gandalf, your, your fuzzy title. The yes, fuzzy. That was Dilly's idea, by the way. I was like, what is, What should the 69,000 um, title be? He was like, yeah. The fuck? That was weird. Done, 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 done. What? Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Really? Motherfucker! I'm so cheesed right now. Codex. Uh, letters and notes. Where's the one that I just had? I should have read that shit. Oh my god, biddies. Carl, thank you for the biddies. Ah. Thank you so much for the baddy witties.
All right, we're looking it up, kids. Lions Pavilion Inquisition. Oh, I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay. I thought I had to light them all at the same time, but whatever. Unless... Oh, God damn it! Trying to make sure that I don't already have it. Oh, it'll be a quest? Are, are we absolutely sure this will be a quest? This is an unmarked quest, meaning it never appears in the journal. Okay, let me make sure that I... Number 56, and it's called... Parsons Battered Notebook. You guys don't need to make them fit three. Also, Yo Gandalf, thank you for the biddies. I We only have notifications for like three or more though. I'm sorry. It's to avoid people spamming. Blech. I got a... Blech. Hair. I made a sandwich yesterday, and I went to take a bite, and there was a glob of cat fur on it. And I was so irritated. I was just so fucking irritated. Ew, right? I was so fucking upset. I was like, honey, look at this. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. Um... I don't think I found this. Okay. So I didn't find it yet. We're good. We have to keep an eye out for Parsons Battered Notebook. Oop. There's a thing over here that I didn't grab. Hi. The fuck? The? More nug skin. Are you 
singing. Mine. Where are you guys headed? You're actually killing it? Good. than hitting them with a sharp piece of metal. Hey, whoa, let's not get crazy. Wow. I just watched an ad and got a hundred bits. Are you fucking serious? That's not a small amount of bits. The most I ever got from an ad, I think I got like six, and it was like a 45 second ad, and I was like, Jesus Christ, this is not worth it. I don't know why you guys think it is. We are not worth it. Are you watching ads on the phone or the computer? On my phone. Is there a different ad base than the computer? And my phone is minimal amount of, on the computer and the computer is minimal five and the max 200. What? Holy shit. I can't believe the computer gives that many. I'm gonna have to start watching ads. <laughs> Holy crap. I can never get that to work on my phone. I've only gotten it to work on my phone a couple times. Otherwise it just brings up like a blank page or something. And I'm like, really? Your, your shit does not work. Mine. See you. There you go, baby. So Dude, the rage demons need to come. to watch different streamers in order to be able to watch more ads. Really? So you have to, like, cycle through other people as well? Or do they only give you really good bit or, um, bits if you watch big streamers? Because if that second one's the case, that's kind of shit. If you haven't watched ads in a while, 
you get more ads. Okay. That's a big spooter. A wedding ring. Ugh, grim. High rift. How are you doing? What's up? Twitch broke? I thought it was just lag. No! Twitch! Is it fixed now, guys? Don't freaking laugh. That's food. It died earlier. Shit. I don't have any drop frames, so it's on Twitch's end. Which kinda sucks. I'm really tired of their shit version. God damn it. Really? What else? I didn't notice anything. Hmm. Maybe you were buffering just enough so that it didn't happen. I want food. I had breakfast too. I don't know what the fuck. Why am I so fat? So, um, 
I was the pinnacle of awkwardness yesterday. We, since we got this air conditioner, the old air conditioner wasn't really working as well. So we were going to give it to our neighbors because they don't even have one. And that's fine and all, and that's dandy, and that's really that's sweet like candy. But um, I accidentally yeah, gave the wrong one up. Spy, an and I had to be awkward and be like, my husband's going to kill me. Um, can I do an exchange? And he, it, luckily, he was very understanding, but I felt like such a piece of shit. So, how are you doing? God damn it. God damn it, Paul. Yeah, yeah, I had to knock on their door and go, hey, listen, so, um, that's the only air conditioner that fits in our living room. Window. And, uh, he's gonna kill me. And luckily, he was very understanding about it, but it's kind of like, uh, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that happened. Um, it's pretty bad. Very embarrassing. I, I even asked Dilly, I'm like, can we afford another one so I don't have to go through this awkward social situation? He's like, no, it's this is you. This is all you. I'm like, god fucking damn it. I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. How do you even do that? Well, we had the other one, or we had the air conditioner for the living room in the basement, and I forgot we had put it in the basement. So I, yeah, I thought, I thought the one, I thought it was still in the basement. We had the other one in the basement too. We didn't have the other one in the basement. Uh, there once was a sister from Sud begging alms as a chantry girl should. She would take gold or clothes for the cold. She looked first for offers of... Wow! It was a mix-up. Yeah, yeah. They were, like, right next to each other, too. It... Such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. But either way, they, they weren't overly upset. It was just like, oh, you stupid ass. He was still pretty happy about having an air conditioner. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Freaking asshole. Oh. Really? Leave me alone. Oh my god, are you... Jump! Jump, homo! Jump! He didn't jump. He is frozen, though, somewhat. Why isn't he moving? Did we do something? I think we did something. Jump! Jump! Do it! There we go. Oh, 
Oh no. I like how they disappear and then they get up. <laughs> like they just reappear and they're fine. What's this? New clients to Master Kel Kells. The new client has, wants double red lyrium shipped this to last time. The contact said it was for someone called Samson. I met him during the last trip. <sighs> Got a Templar feel off him. Although the armor he wears doesn't look chantry, still his coin's good and he doesn't reach. The wow. The smugglers, referring to Samson. That's not good. Breaking games again? Yeah. I wish the Glitch Witch was here. I love Cat. We need to see more of her. I'm really excited for more D&D &D with her. You know how fun it is to play D&D &D with somebody who is still sort of new to it? They're always impressed, even with tiny things. By the way, how are you, Polly? What the fuck? Let me over! Alright, fine. Screw you. Super tired? Dude. I didn't sleep for shit last night. I am really anxious about this new job. I am so anxious about this job. I want it to go really, really well. I want I want it to go so well. I want to go in the first day and have them be like, wow, you deserve more money. Which we all know won't happen. Carl, thank you for the hundred biddies. I want them to be like, wow, you deserve more money and then immediately give me a thousand dollars. That would be awesome. They're like, here's a thousand dollars into the table. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, all right. Hey, Dova King, Dova King, Dova King, Dova King. Doesn't it suck when I spin you right round, baby, right round, because this somehow works on dragons? Dovahkiin, can of fish tuna, Dovahkiin. I mean, that is the official words. Where are you going? Stop. You're breaking shit. Stop it. Did you just boost her off? Freaking great. Oh, that's right. I can hit him with Dorian. Eat shit. Yes, Dorian, put your weapon away. Why would you want that? Come on, man. Stop it. No. Eh. Who 
will only get that if you do extra flavors. What? It's all good, Carl. Thank you so much. Are you serious? You know what you need? Bees. Oh my god! The bees! They're working! <laughs> I see the little bees everywhere! <laughs> Look at the bees! They're chasing him! <laughs> They're like, no, fuck you! <gasps> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. more bees. Here's more bees. Dude, look at all the bees. She's so upset. I love just looking at the bees fuck him up as he flies away. Is this monster hunter? It feels like it. I mean, the bees kind of put it put it in its own perspective. Ow, dude! I need more bee. Oh, damn it! I'm in the middle of a swing. I need more bees, dude! The bees. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, man. Actually. Oh my god. Yes! Good work, bees! Oh my god, they're really hurting him. I want him to just die while flying. That would be hilarious. Please die while flying. I just want him to fall. <laughs> oh. Guess good? Oh my god, please. There we go. Oh, that's so fucking funny. You've killed lots of my countrymen, I take it. Sure, usually when I'm being paid for it. What? Never just for fun. I'm here, aren't I? Man's gotta take his fun where he can find it. Oh my god, that's so freaking great. Why are bees so good? <laughs> You guy, that's unbelievable. Oh, it is unbelievable. That's so great. I don't think you guys understand Let's how amazingly around. good this is. Two birds with one stone. Thetis. My freaking booze collection is almost complete. How close? 
closer Welcome we... Back. Yo! Agarum. Thank you so much for 13 months, man. I still can't believe that. Some of y'all have been around for so freaking long. It boggles my freaking mind. Thank you. Really. It's, it's really great. It is so nice. Thank you guys. It's it's honestly really cool to think about how much you guys have contributed towards us over the years. It's it's really cool. Like, um I never thought we would it's we're not even that big and it feels amazing. It's it's really nice. You guys did a good. Thank you. What are you thinking we're in combat with? Also, where the fuck are we going here? Must be down there. Okay. Okay, and there's a thing over here. What are you in combat with? Oh my god. So much rage right now. I can't hit this while I'm in combat. What are you in combat with? What is aggroed? Nice room. Redigy, thank you. I literally only watch you guys make some charisma on Twitch. Aw. I love this far. Some parts are creep. Really? Oh, and Sinnoh. Sinnoh's okay. I guess... I guess Sinnoh's alright. I guess we love Sinnoh. Is it this? It must have been that. Oh my god, it was. First hit this, just in case we like spontaneously fly off of this. So, we are doing Left 4 Dead 2 today, and I'm oddly excited. I have always liked doing Left 4 Dead 2 on a uh, couple's night. It's my, one of my favorite games that we've done. Serious. 
Oh, Bodhi's attacking Tiger. This is new. We've never done this before. Wow, Bodhi. Just won the World Series. What are you gonna do now? Release ashes? Yeah, no problem. What happens if I do this? Huh. Yeah, they're so happy with each other. Tiger loves this. Bodhi! There we go. I threw a plastic bottle near him and he got distracted long enough for Tiger to get away. He was like, ooh, there's a plastic bottle near me now. Suddenly interesting. Garm, I need you to tell me. Why does this game have any glitches at all? I thought EA, while it was a small indie company, did rigorous testings on all their things. Bodhi is me if I was a cat. Okay, so I didn't even lock him out of this room. He just went into the hallway and meowed as if he was being excluded from something. Like, Bodhi... Bodhi. He's such a victim. I didn't even close the door. I had to buy an SSD to play this game. Oh my god, I'm glad we have one. Ooh. Ooh, hello, headache. Out of fucking nowhere. What the fuck? I would just fall out of the map? Are you serious? That's horrible. Because the... The collision wouldn't even load? I would understand the collision would load probably before the other stuff. Like the visuals. Why wouldn't the collision load? I predict a cat cam in the future. It would have to be like connected to him. This much than the first day at the ridge. And she interacted with the menace, touch it, didn't go so well. And she did nothing, didn't affect the menace at all, we were all doomed. Wait. He's presenting himself. It's always nice. Gift to the talent, alright. I think hers is better, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, that's so much better. That's a nice outfit. I can give that to somebody else. It doesn't really fit with Dorian, especially since it's not as good. Drink some water. Always helps me with headaches. Dude, I am on my fourth bottle of water this morning. We're good. We're, I'm good on water. On agua. I just... I get a lot of headaches because of my sinuses. Um, you know... I t Finally, uh, Dilly broke me down. I'm taking allergy medication, but... 
It's so irritating. I, I hate I hate how your body's like, oh no, pollen, better better freak the fuck out every single year. Like you'd think it would get used to it after a certain point, but no. Your body is just always an idiot. buy a lot of you. What is through this door? Sorry, my family reacts bad to pollen too. I never had the problem, weirdly enough. Really? You never had a problem with pollen? building I fell off tavern and skyhold what really oh god it's a weird statue of the tavern not related to the game slash lore story so I think it's an easter egg really and quiet looks like it's been abandoned for a while painting of Val Royale. oh my god did we find a spookaduke Guys, we found a spookaduke! Oh my god, we found a spookaduke! It's not fair. I want to go outside. I can hear the ghosts downstairs. Another party. There's always another party. Mother and father brought me a present to make me feel better. To make me better. They're just trying to shut me up. Cook's scared of me. She still calls me my sweets. But she's scared. Still, she hasn't told father and mother. She's afraid of me more than she likes them. I don't think Cook likes herself much either these days. I have a new friend now. She understands me. She'll make things fair again. Servants' quarters. I like that everything's lighting up as you go. I love these missions, right? Cook's diary. Pages tucked under a servant's mattress. Danelle noticed my unease and has been pestering me with questions about the girl. I told the Trata child to see to her duties and mind to stop prying, and something will have to be done about her. Danelle's not bad uh, not a bad sort, even if she's a bit lazy. It'd be a pity to have to tell Lord or Don't tell that she's being troublesome. Maybe I could just 
have the child fired. She knows her letters and numbers. There are any number of places that would take her. It's not too late for her. Wish it weren't too late for me and the others. I must go tend to my poor sweets. I hope today will be a good day. My aunt. Should we look around? Why is it teaching me how to search? Actually, before we go in there. Hello. This place, no fun. Dun 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 dun. I getting a little creeped out. I don't like dark rooms like this. Like, I'm not afraid of the dark. I don't like dark rooms. Does that make sense? I don't like when you walk from a light place into a dark place. It's creepy. When I was little, I know I've told this story before, but I remember having very, very bad dreams. Oh, hello. Um, and one I had was, I was like in my basement and I was with my friend and he was like, we had this, this thing in the basement where at the top of the stairs, it would turn the lights on and off, like everybody's basement. But at the bottom of the stairs, there were light switches down there as well. And I remember looking up at the top of the stairs, and he turned the lights off and he closed the door. And I and I panic and went to turn the lights on and off, or turn the lights on from the downstairs, and they wouldn't turn on. And I could feel like something coming to me. And then, um for some reason it just never it never actually got to me I woke up before it but it was still really I was terrified I woke up scared to shit I had to make myself breakfast this morning it wasn't very good when I saw mother and father I couldn't stop crying I don't know what to do my friend says there's a way to be less lonely. She says not to be afraid. There are other games we can try and I feel better. Oh shit. Was this little girl a freaking mage? And they were trying to keep her away from the mage's circle so they kept her here? Oh shit. Also. Oh shit. That's a taxidermy motherfucking dragon. And that person is now dead to you? It was a dream. I, I mean, like, I can't blame somebody for a dream. But yes, Aaron, I blame you. What the fuck? What is that? Oh, is that a leaf clipping through the wall? Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> the fuck? I thought it was eyes. 
Oh. Do you guys have good scary dreams? I love, I, I mean, I go over this all the time, but I love hearing people's dreams. I love it. Oh, hey. You're oddly strong. We never went upstairs. Last Nightmare was a giant octopus chasing everyone on an island. Dreaming about being back to school a lot. Dude. Okay. I have dreams about it being my first day in high school. I am almost 30. But I have dreams about it being the first day of high school and it being a new freaking school year. And, like, getting to my first class and then it letting out and having no idea where my next classes were. And walking the hallways and panicking because I'm not going to get to class in time. And then I'm like, I just have to get a new schedule. I have to go to the front office and get a new schedule. That way I know where my classes are and what my schedule is. I had that issue when I was in high school where I would sometimes... We had, like, a rotating schedule where we would sometimes get, like one class one we would have like math one day and like english another day and i would never remember and i would have to constantly get a new schedule but i have these dreams where i'm constantly forgetting what room or what my where my fucking locker was i remember us getting new lockers one year in school and i just fucked up i i completely would forget my num my locker combination completely i i must have had to go to the office they got so pissed off with me like 10 15 times per like throughout the year the lady knew me by my face like this poor woman they, it was just an admin assistant that they put in their office and she would be like oh hey i guess you forgot again and i'm like yeah i'm an idiot it was so bad it was so bad oh my god i hated high school it was such, it was just this anxiety that you have nowhere to go, or no idea where to go, and you knew you were going to get in trouble for it. Granted, I would never get in trouble for, like, forgetting where my class was. I would get in trouble for skipping, but still. Why? What is this picture? Ooh. Okay. Balcony key required. Okay. This is a nice dungeon, by the way. I really like it. It's good pacing. <sighs> Do you guys have the same ones? Do I... Am I gonna feel a little bit better? Knowing that you guys have the same types of dreams? Like, I'm not I'm just a fucking weirdo. Tiefen Kiss Volume 1. Would they truly notice? Oh, it's a romance serial. Oh, it was probably... Was it written by Varric? Damn it. 
Would you truly notice so brief an absence? He murmured softly. He kept his back to her, his eyes on the painting, as though she did not excite the slightest interest. Would it be so very brief? She returned. The corner of his mouth twitched in a smile, a small triumph that served to quicken her pulse, making her mindful of her own continence. The garden, he murmured softly, and walked away without a glance in her direction. Her journey to the hedge maze was uneventful, although her heart yet quickened. At last he pulled her into a dark alcove. So serene, that smirk of yours, he murmured in her ear. Let me see you smile. Slowly he pulled the ribbon that bound her mask. The Girl in Red Crossing Too long I have traveled soon. I'll see her smiling. The Girl in Red Crossing I'm longing to see. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. I have dreamed of the kiss I stole neath the arbor. I have dreamed of the promise neath the old ash tree. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. One last stream to cross, one last hill to wander, until I reach the love I'm longing to see. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Running through the streets only to silence, but only silence follows. Elven arrows sunk into the old ash tree. Oh, I know she is there. Daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Ruby on the green, petals lost and drifting. Take her to his side and draw stay. Hear my ply. Er, excuse me, plea. I found her lying there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Not surprisingly, this folk song originates from the Red Crossing region. Oh, okay, it's not the poem anymore. Although it is known in various parts of Orlay, while clearly inspired by the events of the Exalted March of the Dales, it is unknown whether the narrator and the anonymous girl were based on actual figures or on representative of the overall losses suffered at the Red Crossing. This last passage literally says, Petals lost and drifting, take her by the side and draws to hear my plea. plea. I found her lying there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. She was fucking dead, dude. That's so fucking grim. These are... This one ended on a fucking cliffhanger because you just know there was something behind that mask. We ain't pretending that he took her into the hedge maze and they were alone. He was like, can I just see your face? And he pulled the mask off and that's where it ended. Like, seriously? Of gods and doubt, forgive me, I claimed belief once. Swore with tears in my eyes that Our Lady was the light. And through her blessing, I knew the maker. I mean, at least she's waiting. True. I dream back in school as an adult. Then I start to realize it's a fucking dream. Really? I never realize it's a dream until I wake up. I have those types of dreams. And even one of them was like me going back to middle school. Really? Yeah, I, I love dreams. I love them so much. I love them so much. Um, it's the blessing I knew the maker, but I cannot brook the division between what I've tried and what I know I cannot ignore. Is the maker less silent than the profane elven pantheon or the old gods of Tevinter? And what an archdemons are not silent at all. We have a real ongoing strife, all of us, every people in creed, that we each blame on the heretical actions of others, and yet if any of our truths was truth, that blame was just claims of divinity it cannot coexist. It does not know other claims could be made if any of those worshipped were truly God. I am ashamed my faith would stand no pedestrian argument. All I have learned in my time here is fear. Go as you must. 
as must we all, but know that the only thing worse than faith broken is faith uncontested. Untested, not uncontested, whatever. It's basically the same shit. Um... Okay. So he was basically saying that he he knows he wants to believe that his faith is real, but he doesn't feel like if his faith was was ever challenged by anybody, he would be able to hold up his end of the bargain. I get it. I need to do more reading. It's that simple. I'm reading I'm reading stuff in this game and I'm like, "Oh my god, I haven't read shit in so long." Secret reading. Pages of a letter that have been hidden inside a copy of the Antivian Kiss Volume 2. What? The box seems unassuming, but I'm told it works as intended. There's an enchantment to it. It attracted the power before. If you want more details, we talk more coin. There are risks in asking too many questions. I doubt you care, so long as it helps with your little problem. I will expect to be in discourse. Um, okay. From Canticle of... Thranodes? Thranodes? An illuminated copy of the Chant of Light. A few of the passages have been bookmarked. In secret they worked magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity they turned against the real. Until at last it gave way. Above them a river of light. Before them the throne of heaven, waiting beneath their feet, the footprints of the maker, and all around them echoed a vast silence. Can't go authorities. Eight, two, three. Okay, cool. Chapter eight, verses two and three. Superstitions, a book of superstitions. Sometimes I have lucid nightmares, and which are fun. Fun. I hate lucid nightmares. Onibi. In which you know you're asleep and you can't do anything about it. If that's what you're talking about and you're like trying to wake up and you know it's a nightmare but you can't wake up, I understand. Because that's terrible. I hate lucid nightmares when you think you woke up and you are... It covers in every horror movie ever, but... You think you're awake, and you are laying in bed, and then you realize you cannot move. And you are laying there, and you feel something near you, and you cannot fucking move. Or you wake up, and you don't recognize where you are. That is another one, like, somebody moved you while you were asleep. That freaks me the fuck out. So, Onibi, dude, I get you, bro. I understand. I pinky promise that we will get through this one day. Anyway, a book of superstitions. Several of the pages have been bookmarked. How to prevent magic formation at earliest stages. They told you this bitch was a fucking mage, and they were like, no, she's royalty, we have to hide her away, or not royalty, she's she's proper. How to prevent magic and formation in the earliest stages. Should ma mage blood run through your line, no matter how distant the relationship, void conceiving in winter. While with child, sleep with a dried embryo beneath your pillow. That's why there were embryos outside. To ensure good health. Infants and most small children will show no signs of magic. However, you can purge the body of unwanted elements before they take hold. Place leeches on each of the child's limbs. When done, burn the leeches. Be sure to not inhale the smoke. Afterwards, wrap the child's limbs in cloths blessed by a chantry sister. A child showing the signs of magic may be submerged in water until the breath is nearly lost. If magic is still weak within them, it will die before the child. Should the trouble persist beyond reason, certain talismans may suppress the child's skill. This is a shit. Okay, so what we've learned is that spirits become demons when they are, when something goes wrong. Basically. And 
so I am thinking that this family in the past had a kid and they did this water trick. <laughs> the water trick. Hashtag, like, bath time fun and ended up killing their other daughter before this daughter was born. The daughter became a spirit and is now talking to this new mage daughter. And the new mage daughter is having issues because of it. Which is fucking terrifying. Usually I have times where it's like, I know I'm dreaming, but it's like, what if I'm not? And what if this is... And I'm like, homie, I don't know. <laughs> where you just second guess yourself the entire existence. Rest of your existence. When I wake up from... I don't even want to move because I'm paranoid. Like, what if someone or something knows I'm awake? Ugh. What fine reading material. There are more books on magic and how to contain it. And every single one is filled with superstitious nonsense. Yeah, but we have to take this into consideration. That something bad happened here. Those who oppose thee shall know the wrath of heaven beautiful thank you there's just bodies everywhere it must smell the high heaven in here oh hello oh, fuck. oh hey I like that they're not swarming me, if that makes any sense. I feel like it's freakier because now it feels like there's... Whoa. There's a lot down here. Locked from the other side. Okay. Maybe we have to go through this courtyard. I had one loose night that repeated for weeks, and now I have a fear of glass doors and windows. Dude. Rough. You alright? I'm glad that they gave uh, warriors elemental attacks, by the way. Okay. Wait. I got this one, right? Just to go here. Hey. Let's check over here first. No. Uh, okay. An 
antechamber. Um, okay. What's up? Oh, there's a bunch. They're still, if they're not like, oh my god, I love that effect. They're like, hey, look, it's on the fire. They're not swarming you with nasties. They're giving you foreboding zombies that are just shambling towards you every once in a while. I like it. This is fine. I mean, it's creepy, but it's fine. I feel like I'm missing places, but that's fine. I'll come back. <sighs> I showed them. We had such fun, we did. Dancing and partying until everyone fell down. It was glorious. Oh, Jesus. The best party ever. Father and mother went to their room when we were done. Mother was crying. She was so happy. I held out the present. It made me better, just like they said. I have not left the house. I'm still scared of what's on the other side of the door. But maybe, maybe I'll go out tomorrow. Dude. She fucking killed people. Mommy was crying. Okay. So these these pictures are just telling me where to look, pretty much. Funny how the same concept of nightmare can be so different for people. Nightmares are are subconscious fucking being assholes. Hastily written on the guest room table. Monsieur. Monsieur? Monsieur? Is it, isn't it Monsieur? Have I been just saying it wrong all the time? Colette, I am very sorry. I can't do a French accent. But we must depart sooner than anticipated. Night terror seized my husband. We will not remain. He will not remain a moment longer. Honestly, I don't know what he's thinking, rushing us out of here so rudely. I hope you forgive me for not conveying my regrets in person, but due to the late hour, we decided not to bo be a bother. I'm sure you understand. Je t'embrasse? That doesn't sound right. Je, je t'embrasse? Shit. I, I suck at French. I took French in ninth grade and passed with a D because she gave me extra credit because I had a tutor. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Mon cher is, mal, is male. Ma cher is female. <gasps> Oh! Oh, that makes so much sense! Thank you, Ramia. How do I say this on the bottom? Do you know how to say this on the bottom? If you say it phonetically, I can do it. 
I know the only issue I ever had with French was a lot of the words are a lot like the um, words in English where letters just don't make sense. And they're like, here's an X. You you have to pronounce it. And I'm like, excuse me? I'm not sure either. Damn it! If somebody knows, even if you're watching the VOD, let me know. Or if somebody finds out, tell me. Like, hit me up. Hit a brother up. I love learning shit like that. Oh. There was a door here and I just never... Oh, for fuck's sake. There's so many. Hey. Hey. A mosaic piece. Um. I want to make sure. Okay. I don't want to interact with that just yet. I mean, I'll uncover it, but I'm not going to interact with it yet. Jetambras means take care. Found it. Apparently it's umbras. J. Jombras. Jambrasse. Jambrasse. That sounds nice. That sounds pretty. Lord. Deonter, beast, impressive, most certainly a fake, but of superior quality. I'd rather hang a handsome piece than something unappealing. Lord Deonter to Lady Mondaire on the aesthetic appeal of a fine, authentic beast purchased in Val Oh, this dragon is fake. Interesting. I need a key. Oh, shit. Oh, that's sick, dude. Wait, come here. See you later, Agar. I'm sorry we're weird. Je tombras. E at the end is silent. Okay. So. Je tombras. Je tombras? Like, je tombras. The infinite. Je tombras. A reminder. A shakily written note. There is no one left to remind me. I can't trust the thoughts in my head. Some of them are hers, but these are mine. Key to balcony, do not use. It won't make you better. They lied, she lied. Motherfucker. I need it.
Oh, I have it. Oh, it was in there. No, okay. Ten cunning, nice. We're not alone. Okay. No, I have to open this. Get up here. Damn it. I'll have to go back up there. Where'd she go? This music's freaky. At least it's not that strong. I believe we put the worst of it to rest. Perhaps now this place will be as quiet as it seemed. Superb cooldown amulet. That's freaking great. Oh my god, that was so good. That felt really good. So basically, the story was that they suppressed her powers, she talked to a demon, the demon possessed her. Like, it's a tale as old as time, but people keep thinking they know better. Why don't they fucking deal with this instead of hiding away their problems? Demons taking your children. Sarah, I know you're quirky, but come on now. She's like, no, I'm invisible. You can't help. That Circle Templar is demanding another payment, greedy bastard, taking advantage of us all these years. Because we wanted to preserve our good family name, he promised to silence the mage once... Uh, mage once returned to his circle, but that doesn't protect us from the Templar. I wonder, though, was it enough? No, the mage was, too, was strong. Even I could sense it. It was terrifying. There was no way the child could break through. She doesn't even have training. So long as she stays inside, everything will be alright. No one will ever know. Oh. So they didn't ignore it. They tried to get a mage to teach her silently behind closed doors. Oh. Okay. All right, that's a little more responsible. At least they tried. They really wanted to keep their family name. Jesus. It's fucking rough, dude.
Oh, it didn't work out. You want this? Dual blade dagger. I don't think that's going to be better, but we'll see. show you uh, everybody your pecs like this is a win-win That's just a fire and I can shove that on somebody's weapon. Sex A, right? All right, I think we're good. I think we have looted everything. Really? Want help with that? Yeah, I thought I looted everything. Did we only unlock one of these? All right, come on. Pretty bad in here. Damn it, I'm lost. No, we're not done. There's something else. Oh, it's that. Shit, okay. Tale as old as time is about furry love. Listen. A little bit. Do you think Belle, when Beast turned into human, she was like, Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. And she just, like, got really sad. Oh, I li Oh. Like, Belle was just, like, really freaky. Why does it say there's a rift here and there isn't? I remember doing the rift before we went in, but I think it, I think it glitched. That's not good. Also, um, this allergy medicine is uh, getting me a little tipsy here. <laughs> what the fuck? I feel floaty as fuck. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I shouldn't. Have I should have eaten more. I have this, I have medicine head. I feel wobbly wobbly. <laughs> She's like, oh, actually I'm into hairy chests. You better not be aggroing me giant. Oh yeah, here he goes. 
He needs to calm the fuck. I'm not even trying to deal with him, and he's just like, Oh, I guess I'll kill you. Fine, you know what? Let's go. You wanna go? You wanna run? You wanna jump? You wanna... You wanna be an asshole? You freaking dick. I'm not even freaking bothering you, and you're just this kind of person. Oh, there he goes. All right, you're dead. Good. That's what you freaking get. How was the stratosphere, asshole? Wait, is he still alive? Oh, no, there's another one. There's another one of these, like, corn things under him. Easy. Yeah, this logging stand is still here. Maybe I just have to leave the area and come back. I did all of these and I just missed one of them. You fool. Uh, this. This is gonna drive me insane. What is this? Like, why is it all blacked out? Okay, it's just nothing. There's nothing here. There's an embryo. Oh, an Alfred. Oh. We just had to get fancy. Alright. Let's head back. Send them out on more resource gathering missions. See if Dorian still wants us. Oh, you know what? Okay, first off. Go! There you are. Hey. Do you want this blade? You do. You want it better than the bosun's blade. Okay. Iron ball. Okay, that other is so much better. 
black wall. This is better than your shield. Cassandra, which better than is it better than yours as well? No. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Fair enough. Armor. Ooh. Armor. Uh, Cassandra. Is this better than what you got, baby? Yeah, it is. And Solus. Is this better than what you have? Oh my god, it is. Okay, wait, what about Vivian? It's better than both. Who has the worst one? Solus. Alright. Done deal. I don't think... Oh, I have a, uh, a purple necklace that I can give to somebody. Here. What? Well, yeah, somebody had a... Okay, hold up. Just put you in valuables. I was gonna say, somebody had a normal necklace. Uh, Solus. There we go. Perfect. Characters. Cassandra. Here is something. Sarah, you're good. Blackwall, you need something. You're good on there. Here. Cole, you need something. There you go. Vivian, here is something. Solus, here is something. Varric, here is something. Do we miss Cassandra? No, I gave her something. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Let's save. This is actually going pretty well. How are you feeling, Josephine? What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Let's speak later. Another time. She is so dismissive of me at this point. She's like, yes, Inquisitor. Whatever. I hope you fucking die. Uh, sh That's it? That's all you get? Are you serious? Someone's turning into a bit of a dragon hunter, I've heard. Jesus. Our Legion throne accessory. Oh! Interesting. Maybe we should try to do each of these at least once. Let's see what we have. Oh no, Ganoff, do you want me to start calling you Josie or Josephine in chat? I can update your nickname. Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I, I kind of like knowing what to call people. Do you go by Josie? That'd be cute. I can call you Josie or Josephine. Which one do you prefer? Uh, fucking hell. 
Josie? I'll call you Josie. Um, this doesn't mean that Dilly will call you Josie. We don't have, uh, what's it called? We don't have the same app. He has it, but it doesn't, like, update for him because it's on his computer. It's a local file. But it will work for me. Unless I'm on mobile, in which case I probably won't see it. It just basically changes your name. I have it right now as Josie space and in parentheses Yo, Gandalf. That's fine. He doesn't read chat anyway. He tries. Hey! That's my husbando. Give him a break. He gives his, his best. Oh, oh, Dilly. He tries really hard. What do I have right now as far as armor? 249 and 7? <laughs> I can't even use that. Serious? Holy shit. My armor would be so fucking strong, dude. Alright, I'm gonna keep that for later. I don't need it right now, but oh my god. Like, our gear is set. <sighs> All right. Nothing to sell. All right, I already put them all in here, good. Makes it easier on me. Oh, so long. Dude. Oh, all right. Do you have anything good? Anything? Inquisitor, you have come to the attention of the powerful, and I am the response. The surfer. You will find my wares unique. I sell influence. Okay. That what? That's shit. By the way. At least it's something that we can interact with. Yeah, it's showing this is not done. Where is the last one? Oh no.
Okay, wait. Let me see how bad this is. Emerald Graves Rift showing up on map after done. Bug. Apparently, it just happens. Okay, so it's just... Uh, there are way more quarries and logging stands in the game than you ever need, have a need for. Okay. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it then. That's fine. Ay, 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 ay. Is Tiger asleep? I woke up with Tiger just staring at me while sleeping. Or like, he was laying next to me, curled up, and just looking. His eyes wide open. Curiosity, what happens in like what am I missing in the hinterlands at the moment? The saddle. Oh, these are completed. Okay. Nothing. Okay, good. Unless I'm looking at the wrong thing. I am. The only one I can't do is the Ferelden lock, which is impossible. They said you can't do it because the mages are just gone, which is hilarious. I'll look up a mod, see if there's a way to get mages to just spawn so you can finish it, and then just it'll be gone from your list. It is it literally impossible? It, so, in order to get the Ferelden locks, the mages need to spawn, and the mages stop spawning after you get to a certain point in the story. They just don't appear. They'll never appear. So yeah, it's literally impossible. that there's no way to 100% the game at this point if those trolls and locks are impossible to get I mean like do you get would you guys judge me if I caused mages to spawn just so I could finish it or would that be considered I feel like it was just an oversight Perhaps we should search about a bit. I don't necessarily feel like they wanted people to no longer be able to complete the quest <laughs> Barred from the other side. Okay. 
we get in there? Hey. It's just very, very low percent drops throughout the rest of the game. They, we read that, that it's next to impossible to get because the odds of a mage spawning is extremely low. Get your men out on the roads and hunt down those Inquisition bastards with losing emerald graves. You've forgotten what we're fighting for. Everything we do, we do for our future and our Okay. Villa morals taken, Maleficent's gone. We're losing our grip. What now? The men are starting to balk. Talking about giving up. Nice. We are totally pushing these people out of here. That's that feels really nice. Where, where are you guys all coming from? What's going on here? working. Stop it. Whoa, what was that? A Dalish tone. Many yikes, then. Yeah, it's something in the world, it's fine. There is an item here. Mine. Oh, hi. You guys are like, no, we have to hold this spot. Sorry. Righteousness be our shield. Let righteousness be our shield. Let righteousness be our shield. That's one way to solve the problem. Just kill them all. It's fine. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. There's probably booze somewhere. That's pretty cool. Oh, thanks. What's in here? Oh my god, move.
I'll take this and this and this. There's in here I'll take nothing. Ooh, it's a medic. Eh. Oh, a reed. I hope you're well in adjusting. This is now your home. An Imperial Army did not appreciate you. Your Empress used you for her own purpose. Forget her. Remember, you are no deserter. You are free. Jesus. Dude. I mean, if, did they really feel like they were being used? If so, this is not the way to make them feel better. Hello. Hello, Mr. Rift. Squeeze me, squeeze. Oh, you bitch. You need to stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Smuggler letters, okay. Supplies, Master. Thank you. You know what? Let's head back. I kind of want to talk to Vivian. We haven't spoken to her, like, one-on-one -on -one in a very, very long time, and I'm a little concerned. Because I don't want her to be, like, the reason that we have problems. this again? No. Oh my god, please. Oh, hey! I never finished... Greetings, Inquisitor. That is I never talked to her again. I was supposed to do I that. Should thank you. 
The way things ended in Redcliffe, you could have demanded anything you wished. Yet you chose to make us equal partners. I was not expecting that. You rebelled for good reason. I'm pleased to hear you say that, Inquisitor. <laughs> I've been a Grey Warden, a Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Yeah, we already heard this. Odd where fate takes you. So I was sent to the Circle of... It also made me unique. Still, despite all the chaos... We did all of that these. Time, it that is why I agreed to just... I just want to get them I'm out of here, of so I don't accidentally do it. I heard of your research on your behalf is almost too kind. I hope you know what you're doing. Do be wary of anything that man proposes. You were once a Grey Warden? Mine is... So I was sent to the Circle of... It also made me unique in the Circle. I had an... I... Still... Despite all the chaos, perhaps until that time, I lead my fellow mages. That is why I agreed to Justinia's. Most are pleased with it. Ollie. Greetings again, Inquisitor. Uh, all right. You're not still the Grand Enchanter. Another sign, then. You seem very interested in my opinions. I need to talk to you. I am, as you say down south, all ears. I was hoping to steal a moment. Yeah, we never got a kiss from you. <laughs> I need to talk to you, he says. Out of your way. Ooh, candy. Let's go where a hundred onlookers won't think I'm stealing the Inquisitor's soul. Oh, yay! Oh. Fancy meeting you here. I need to talk to you. Oh. I am, as you say down south, all ears. Let's do something interesting. More interesting than wandering the countryside killing random strangers? Perish them. But if you insist, a game of wicked grace will have to do. Time to take all your Oh. I wonder if that's glitched. The Inquisitor's work is never done, I see. I need to talk to you. Just talk? Such a pity. On second thought, I've changed my mind. One of those days, is it? God damn it. Yes? I wanted to ask you about the Circle of Magi. Of course. What do you wish to know? <sighs> what was it like to live in a circle? My dear, your question is the root of all problems with mages. I cannot tell you. Every circle was different. Their Templars were different. Their politics unique. And every person within each tower had an experience of circle life unique to themselves. Some people suffered and some were content. Some were cruel, some compassionate, and some indifferent. The same is true of people everywhere, in all circumstances, whether they are mages or not. That's fair. So, tell me about your personal experience with the circle. I enjoyed life in the Montsimard circle. It was an edifice devoted to knowledge and refinement. And mages need the company of other mages. No one else can truly understand the challenges we face, nor see the world as we do. Okay. You must have been under constant supervision being forced by Templars to live in the tower. Was that hard to endure? My dear, I have a suite in the palace and a wing at my dear Duke Bastien's estate. I've never been forced to live anywhere. Most circles allowed mages to live away from the tower, either on their own or in service to the nobility. 
All that was required was permission from the first in chunk. Some circles were harsher in their restrictions. Perk war was the worst, but it was the exception. Most were quite permissive. Perhaps too permissive, in retrospect. Aww. How did we come to this state with the circles in revolt? A failure of perspective that infected circle leadership. Mages lived solely in a world of Templars and mages. They could not even imagine what was beyond the tower walls. Perk War gave the world a reason to remember its fear of magic. A mage killed hundreds with a snap of their fingers. Across Thedas, a new tangible fear of magic grew. Commoners and nobles alike called out to the Chantry for protection. But the malcontents in the towers thought nothing of this. They cared only for themselves and for their anger at the new Templar restrictions. When a mage attempted to assassinate Divine Justinia, again, the mages protested the investigation. The leadership Wonderful. chose to vote on independence based on the intolerable conditions imposed by the Templars, sparing no thought to the fact that magic was more feared in the aftermath of these attacks than it had been since Tevinter's day. So long as they had their freedom, they could care little for riots, <sighs> angry mobs, or about pitting mages against each other. That's fair. Like, looking at it from a different perspective, it's very odd. Are you familiar with Grand Enchanter Fiona? We've met. Before her horrendously ill-timed and selfish vote for independence, I thought her adequate at her job. In her dotage, she could not handle looking after the well-being of so many people. We would have done better to replace her years ago to let her spend time gardening. <laughs> In the aftermath of their terrorist attacks? Was that really the most opportune time to break away? By all means, protest abuses by the Templars. Just don't do it in a way that says mages support wholesale murder. By voting when they did, my colleagues all but declared war upon the ordinary people of Vegas. A war in which we are outnumbered a hundred to one. I thought the fighting was only between mages and Templars. Why are mages fighting mages? The vote for independence was carried by only a small margin. But Fiona chose to let the motion stand. Those who opposed a rash declaration of war against the entire free world had little choice. By breaking from the Chantry when they did, the rebels declared themselves in support of mass murder. Anyone who did not wish to support terrorism and the slaughter of innocents was forced to take arms against the rebels. Wow. Yes. I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivian. Whatever would you like to know. Your accent's not our leisure. Where exactly are you from? I am from the Circle, my dear. One's country of origin rarely matters there. But if you must know, I was born in Wycombe in the Free Marches. I was sent to the Ostwick Circle, but I transferred to Montsumar while still an apprentice. I'm curious how a circle mage winds up a court here. Nobody winds up at court, my dear. It takes a great deal of effort to arrive there. I caught the eye of Duke Bastien de Ghislaine, an advantageous connection that opened many doors. When the position of enchanter to the Imperial Court became vacant, I was able to secure it. Okay. You're married to the Duke de Ghislaine? <laughs> of course not, my dear. Don't be ridiculous. Marriage is the business of alliance and inheritance. I'm Bastien's mistress. Ooh. <laughs> what does his wife think? And what does the Duchess de Gislaine think of this arrangement? We got along quite well. <laughs> Duchess Nicoline and I used to host musical salons together. She was a great patron of the arts. She passed away from a fever a few years ago. Poor dear. Mm. Duties does a court enchanter have? I am tasked with providing assistance to the Empress on arcane matters. Most of my predecessors restricted this to lighting lamps and doing parlor tricks. In such troubled times as these, however, I provide political advice to Her Majesty on the subject of the Mage Rebellion. Do you think that you and I might someday... How very sweet of you to ask, but no. 
<laughs> yes. Do you think that you and I might someday? I don't see how that benefits me in the slightest, my dear. Oh my god, she's totally in it for her. I love it. Hey, Solus. Good afternoon. I'm interested in what you told me of yourself and your studies. If you have time, I'd like to hear more. You continue to surprise me. All right, let us talk. Preferably somewhere more interesting than this. Okay. I'm eating candy, by the way. <laughs> Why here? Haven is familiar. It will always be important to you. We talked about that already. I sat beside you while you slept, studying the anchor. What? I'm glad someone was watching over me. You were a mystery. You still are. I ran every test I could imagine, searched the Fade, yet found nothing. Cassandra suspected duplicity. She threatened to have me executed as an apostate if I didn't produce results. The threat worked. No, it didn't. You were never going to wake up? How could you? A mortal sent physically through the Fade. I was frustrated, frightened. The spirits I might have consulted had been driven away by the breach. Although I wished to help, I had no faith in Cassandra, or she in me. I was ready to flee. The breach threatened the whole world. Where did you plan to go? Some place far away, where I might research a way to repair the breach before its effects reached me. I never said it was a good plan. <laughs> I told myself, one more attempt to seal the rifts. I tried and failed. No ordinary magic would affect them. I watched the rifts expand and grow, resigned myself to flee, and then... It seems you hold the key to our salvation. You had sealed it with a gesture. And right then, I felt the whole world change. For all our sakes, I'm pleased that you stuck around. As am I. You have fractured rules of man and nature. And you will shatter more before you are done. To visit me here. And you, not even a mage. What do you mean? Where do you think we were? This isn't real. That's a matter of debate. Probably best discussed after you wake up. Dude, that was freaking great. That was freaking great. I like that. I guess that cutscene would still be possible as a dwarf because you're connected to the fade with your, your rift hand. But I like that. All right, cool. All right. All right, here. All right, all right, all right. It is noon. It is time to send you guys to somebody. Couples night is tonight. So I hope to see you guys there. Um, yeah. Thank you for coming. And, uh, oh God, nobody's live. All right, let's find somebody who is live. Hold up.
since it is Pride Month, we might as well go for an LGBTQI element OP tag. Uh, let's send you guys to somebody with low views. Do, 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 do. playing Pokemon? Like me some Pokemans. I don't see any Pokemans. And I play, I play my Dragonage. Nope. No Dragonage. Let's send you guys to Pixel Geeky. You give her love. I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.